All right. So let's go to mission four here. Too hot. Lieutenant Cook, this is General Braddock. Good job with that cyan hauler. I like a man who can protect his turf. We can't let those bastards get a hold of our technology or it's all over. This is a war for the future of the universe here, son. And I'll destroy all my men on the line before I let those scions steal what's rightfully ours. Yeah, he's a very nice general, this guy here. Attention, members of the Scion Collective. This is the Padishah speaking. The Dark Planet. Ultimate Destiny. Our mission will proceed. So too hot. Deploy and protect the scavenger unit and use ISD if you have turrets. So this is basically, you know, your real scavenging mission. Going to be using scavengers and turrets. Papers found in the technical center indicate that the scientists in server space had gathered technical information predating the attack on Voyager 2 probe. There is no record of prior violent conflict with the aliens, but information exists about their craft and methods of communication. Among the papers were sketches of alien ships and a brief description of a conversation with one of the creatures, dispelling previous assumptions that they cannot communicate via normal human speech. The notes on the interview are brief, but refer to the aliens as scions, which would appear to be a name of their fee species. There is also mention of a figure called the Padiash, the leader of the scion creatures. Major Manson safe and sound, and Cerberus base is back online. I'm not sure what's next. Some of the guys are saying we should just pack up and leave. We weren't supposed to be here in the first place, right? We rescued our soldiers and found out who we're fighting. But Braddock's determined to stay. He wants the planet back. And he wants to fight. If defense was this hard, I can't imagine what offense is going to be like. I know I'm still on the defense technically here with resource gathering, but whatever. We'll be going on the offense soon enough. Actually, it's a little while before we go on to the offense, so to speak, but whatever. Major, we've discussed your orders. Rendezvous with Squad Green at Site 2. Yes, sir. Blue 2 and 3, move out. Commander, why don't you deploy that recycler and set up a defensive perimeter? Roger that, sir. Recycler 1, clear the dropship. Recycler 1, move into position. Lieutenant Cook, I'm ordering the recycler to deploy. It's the first step towards establishing a base of operations. Your recycler is your pivotal production unit. It can produce all the utility units necessary to create an entire base if need be, in addition to scouting and defensive units. Okay. Close enough, Recycler 1. Deploy there. Roger that, Commander. Deploying underway. I'm building a scavenger. It's a scrap collecting unit. Very important, since we require scrap to produce all other units and buildings. Building. Building complete. The scavenger is now under your command, Lieutenant. Let's see if you're ready to handle it. Have it follow you to the scrap pool we passed a few hundred meters to the west. Once you're there, I'll instruct you on how to deploy it. Yes, sir. Lead the way. Let's get over here and let her talk some more. There it is, cowboy. Scrap is usually concentrated in pools like this one. To deploy the scavenger on the pool, open up its command menu as you would any other vehicle and tell it to go to the pool. Alright, so something to note about this game is that... It's now all you have to do is point it at the pool and press your spacebar. It's a little bit different than like the original game. Got it covered. Basically, unlike this original game, this game actually has like little like pools of like you know scrap that you can basically get your resources from. So the scrap is unlike you know the other original game where you basically find it there and like it's infinite here, and basically you can always have like a source of scrap to like build stuff with if you have like you know one of these like you know on like these like file pools scavengers. Notice the resource bar in your HUD. The new segment indicates that you have deployed the scavenger successfully. Not bad, Lieutenant. You're a quick learner. Or maybe I'm a good teacher. 
And yeah, I'm not in a in the bottom left. Basically, you see like a scrap meter, which basically tells you how much your, your scrap base looks like. I'm not that when it's in the yellow, we basically generate scrap faster than when it's We've in the got green. More of them again. Hold them off, Cook. Don't let them get to the scavenger while I build some support units. Base. Under attack. I think that guy just ejected a pilot on us. Now, when I basically it's 40 scraps, it'll automatically build us a turret. Building. Building complete. A turret is on the way, cowboy. Deploy it near the scavenger for support. Got your six. You're the boss. I think this point we're also going to get attacked over here, so I'll go over here now. Turrets will automatically deploy wherever you order them to go. Deploying. So there's a turret right here. And there's the guys behind us, so... That's it for them. General Braddock, we're experiencing heavy casualties. The back door is open, General. Please advise, sir. Building. Carry on to the corral, Major. I'll have to improvise. Orange squad, rendezvous with your recycler now. Building complete. Now, I know it's basically stuck at 39 scrap because basically it's like, you know, um, we have to, like, rendezvous to a fur now. I'm gonna build a few like you know service pods while I'm basically stuck there, so we basically keep using stuff. Building complete. Commander Shabayev, leave the lieutenant and rendezvous with Blue Squad in Sector 12. This area is not secured, sir. According to regulations. Building. I am aware of that, Commander. You heard my orders. Building complete. Building. Yes, sir. Building complete. Lieutenant, I'm placing that recycler into a production loop. It will continue to build turrets as funds come. Keep a defensive perimeter around it and that scavenger in the field. Don't allow anything to happen to them, and stand by for further orders. Building. Building complete. You're the boss. You're the boss. So no, I basically got this recycler to build a couple service pods. Basically, they're used for like finishing your health and you know ammo. I'm also gonna set the rally right here because basically at some point we're gonna have enemies pop out of this tunnel Deploying. here. And that'll be fun. Base under attack. I know probably the recycler has lots of, like, you know, health, so... I'm not Building. worried about getting destroyed or anything, but whatever. Building complete. Building. Building complete. You're the boss. You're the boss. Well, that guy defend right there for now. Oh no, boy, it's starting mission. The artifacts got were taken away, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. So that's one good thing to say. Deploying. 
But I still have, like, you know, multiple points to, to defend this mission still. Like, you know, I gotta defend the scavenger, gotta defend the recycler, gotta defend the armory and relay, relay bunker, I guess. And by the way, when your guys are deployed like this, basically they're called scavenger deployed. They're basically structured at this point. I think when a game was to like five turrets, that's when like, you know, the the, um, the enemy basically like, you know, does a major attack against you and you have to thwart it and then like it passes on to the next segment of the mission. Get that guy right there. Oh, there's some more enemies. I think my Deploying. turrets managed to take out the um, guys over here, so that's awesome. As you see, as these guys get damaged, they'll like, you know, sit fire and all that other stuff. So yeah, your resources basically when they're in the green they go slower, while if they're in the yellow they go a bit faster for for regeneration. It's a mechanic that you know reminds me of Warcraft Three, and I'll probably do a game. You know, building complete. You're the boss. You're the boss. I'll know probably that I plan to like do like you know Warcraft Three because actually they had a very interesting idea for like you know resource management where the more like you know units you had like the higher the cost would be for stuff. Ooh, a warrior. Base under attack. Warriors are basically the tanks of like the enemy here. Whoops. Deploying. Blow them up. Now I had two turrets over here to guard the tunnel, so I'm pretty sure they took care of the scout over here, but. Yeah, I took care of it. Ow. I'm going in here because... Satellite activated. Shepherds are in place, sir. All right, Lieutenant. Move to the armory. There's a special power up there. You better pick it up, because you're going to need it for this mission. Alright, well I missed like showing off the radar where you can see guys get blown up on the radar, but whatever. Basically yeah, I can Lieutenant Cook. You're going to have to get out of your ship to get that power up. Basically, you know, you can use like the radar to like, you know, look at stuff and like, you know. You've just picked up a modified sniper rifle. I'll explain why later. I placed a nav beacon at a communication bunker several hundred meters northwest of your current location. Move to that bunker now, Lieutenant. And quickly. Basically, if you want to, in a relay bunkers, you can, like, you know, look at the field of, like, the view, um, battlefield overview, and then, like, you know, you can see, like, things getting destroyed in, like, you know, real time and such. Basically, like, a, a real, like, you know, top-down command conquer type of perspective. And that's something I know about this game. This, like, um, this game in particular was, like, a little bit more, like, you know, RTS heavy as opposed to FPS heavy, um, compared to, like, the original Battle Zone. The original Battle Zone was, like, very, very, like, you know, FPS heavy, where this one was, like, more tactical, and, like, you know, it had, like, more, like, you know, strategy elements in it. But whatever. Let's just go over here and we'll do this part of the mission. The flock is on the move, General. Get inside that bunker now, Lieutenant. Move! 
I'm not at this point, basically we're gonna do a little right, sniping. Lieutenant. You've just become the key part of this little operation. The sniper rifle you picked up has been modified to fire a tracer round. It plants a bug, not a bullet. Green and blue squads have cut off the enemy's lines of retreat and are forcing them through your location any second now. When the enemy moves through, fire a single tracer into one of their craft. Fire it into their canopy to disable the occupant of the craft. Get ready, Lieutenant. You only have a small window of opportunity. Make your shot count. So at this point, basically, we're going to do a little bit of sniping. I know I'll probably be good to save at this point, but whatever. Ah, I should probably just save us doing it right now. File. Save. Because if I screw up here, I don't want to have to like go through all the air stuff, you know, to get to this point. Oh, there's They're the enemy. Approaching the target area. I missed. That's not good. I can fire again, but you know it takes some time to recharge my, Ace, my under ammo. Attack. That's unfortunate. I might be very dead now. Warning. Damage critical. Base under attack. Well, you got to see the first death. When you die, basically you get a nice little screen saying like you perished in battle. So, there'll be that. You have perished on the battlefield. I was just loading us. Good thing I saved, isn't it? Nice little like, you know, showing of the stuff on the field there. There's a Sasquatch Battle Walker. And more of that like Illing Craft is there. I think it's called the Reaper. But yeah, basically at this point in the mission, I have to like snipe one of the like, you know, enemies so that, you know, they got Tracer on them. It's similar to like, you know, we have to do like, you know, that other mission in the original Battle Zone where you had like, you know, snipe an enemy to get into like the canopy for it or take over the craft. This time we're basically like, you know, putting a Tracer around them. And basically you only get like one shot, though it does recharge, but, you know. They're approaching the target area. You're likely, well, again, the first shot. Nice shot, son. Get to your ship before they take out that bunker. Target has been hit. All forces move in. Base under attack. Base under attack. Base under attack. And they're on a the move. They're moving, General, just as you planned. Excellent. Stay with them, Cook, but be sure not to hit that tagged ship. See, yeah, the tag ship is basically going to lure us over to the enemy forces here. And when it basically retreats, we'll basically have like a track ship, you know, in like the enemy carriers, what the idea for this mission is all about. This is her explain in advance. Unstable terrain, because, you know, why not? And there's an enemy carrier. They've reached their retreat vessel, General. You should be picking up the tracer on radar now. I've got it, Major. Get your units to the dust off site. We're going after them. All right, so that's basically completion of the you know mission four. And that's it for the Pluto missions, at least. So we go into the dark planet next. You'll see what that's all about. The science have retreated off planet Pluto, and using the tra tracking tracer device planted on one of their ships. We're tracked to a previously unknown planet within our solar system. As the planet has not yet been discovered by astronomers on Earth, it is currently unnamed, and is referred here to hereafter in official documents as a dark planet, due to its obscure nature. Investigation of the status of Pluto in the science wake revealed that the aliens had not made much of a foothold on that planet. 
No central sign base was found, indicating that the sign soldiers were housed elsewhere. Their presence on Pluto presumably was solely for temporary battle. The signs also did not seem to be thriving on Pluto, as several dead bodies of sign creatures were found. Autopsy, as best it could be performed in the field on non-human creature, revealed that these signs must have died from illness, as no injuries or signs of attack were found on their bodies. So that mission lasts over 15 minutes, basically like, you know, we can see like, you know, stuff that happened. There's basically four teams, because, you know, we have like, you know, four teams on the field. And let's go to the next one, Dark Plant. I actually had some difficulty with this mission, but, you know, it depends like, you know, how it basically um, goes like, you know, early on, I guess, so, sp so to speak. If like the commander gets like a, you know, a, a defensive turret up or not. Anyhow, secure the landing zone, collect scrap of scavengers. I am relieved to hear that Lieutenant Cook survived, General. But you can understand my reticence to abandon a man on a base like that. Blue Squad was not in need of my assistance, and the sector between the base and their location was crawling with scions. I defer to your judgment, sir. But I will be filing a report as is standard. Manson, this is Braddock. We're coming in on the Dark Planet now. So I'm going to need you to take care of that operation we discussed. It's just too hot with all these intelligence officers running around. I don't like the paper trail this whole mission is generating, so let's get that quarry out of here before some kid in recon can file a report on it. So I'll note these things about a quarry. You'll see a little bit about that in the next mission that comes after this one. Second Fleet, this is your general speaking. We are proceeding to the Dark Planet and will be landing shortly. Major Manson will lead the landing party. First priority is to set up a base of operations and we'll take it from there. Over and out. I'm not, I'll eventually get access to the motorbike in this one, which is basically a fast moving, like, you know, motor attacker. Using the tracer, General Braddock and his carrier have followed the Sign Army to their new location on a dark planet. The entire fleet is being toured to follow. In initial intelligence on a dark planet indicates a semi-stable environment with high levels of low-density gases. It lies on the first edge of the Earth's solar system and has previously been dis uh, dis obscured by the Kuiper Belt. There's no sign of organic life due to the low levels of oxygen available. It has not yet been determined where this is a science planet of origin. Analysis of science, science previously attack on the ISDF and the surface base pre presents a case that for an incredibly intelligent species. The aliens can form strategies requiring high level thought and computation. The success of certain science campaigns also indicates a superhuman ability to predict and presume. I'd never even known this place existed before. And here I was on a ship heading down to land on it. It doesn't look like the Earth does from space. The big blue marble you always see in pictures. This one's almost black. You can barely tell where space ends and the planet begins. Even the satellites have a hard time picking it up. As if it's not really there. So yes, the planet our solar system is not really there. I'll note by the way that at this point this game was created, I don't think Pluto was classified as like a, uh, you know, a planet to like dwarf planet yet, so it's still considered a planet, I think, for purposes of this game. You're a few hundred meters off target, Commander, but go ahead and set up there. There's no enemy contact yet, but this atmosphere is wreaking havoc on our instruments. Send out shallow patrols to secure the area. Once a perimeter has been established, we'll start collecting resources. I know that, by the way, first mission is all about defending yourself, for the most part. Cook, defend the perimeter while I set up the space. Building. Building complete. Locking in course. Building. Building complete. Building. Now, initially, um, starting out this mission, I want to defend myself, for the most part, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to turn out here. Now, no problem, we're basically splitting like a resource pile here, where basically she's got like, you know, um, resources and I got resources. She's using it to like build power plants, and eventually she's going to build like, you know, a, a base like gun turret, but until then, basically, we're, Deploying. you know, um, waiting for her to do that. Thank you. 
And by the way, I haven't noticed yet, but basically it's worth knowing that the, um, basically there's waypoints in this game where you can have, like, you know, your recyclers, for example, dropping off stuff at certain points. If you want to use them like that. And there's some enemies over there. I think they might be grouping for attack, but I'm not really sure. Base under attack. Ow. That sort of went well, I guess. Oh, no, boy, shall we have to die? You, like, lose this mission right away, but... If they go after me, it's fine. Complete. You're the boss. You're the boss. Okay, she's basically got two prime plants up at this point. She'll have to build a relay bunker, and then she'll have to build, like, you know, a gun turret after that. So that's what we're waiting for her to do. Deploying. I want to drive these guys toward the turrets. Base under attack. I think I'm under attack by sign pilots that are popping out of these vehicles because, you know, they do that. Building. This mission is basically all about defending yourself for the first little bit, so. Complete. You're the boss. You're the boss. Building. That's what I'm doing. Building complete. Deploying. I got a little bit injured, but whatever. I hope these guys are actually going to attack over here. Defensive units lost. And there's one of our pilots ejecting, so... Building. Not only do our pilots eject, ours eject too. Building complete. You're the boss. You're the boss. Get that guy over here. Let's get a scavenger to start collecting scrap for us, I guess. Deploying. Building complete. Yes, sir. Got it covered. Now I'm going to get this guy to scavenge. It basically means he's going to do the old battle zone, you know, thing of like, you know, collecting scrap on the ground. Oh, that's a pot popping out from here. Yeah, everyone's shooting at that pot up there now. There's that pot dialing. Building. Let's get some scouts built, I guess. So they're building some the scrap. These guys can serve my wingman for the most part. Building complete. 
engaging thrusters. On your six. True, uh, sentry over there, apparently. Building. War is over there, apparently. There's so another turret up over here. Deploying. Building complete. You're the boss. You're the boss. Oh, good. They got the relay bunker up finally. Deploying. I thought it was a good time to make these guys move, but whatever. They're moving now. Or that guy's moving at least. Deploying. Ah, there we go. Deploying. There's a scrap pool. I'll make it with a nav beacon. Build a scavenger cook and send it to that scrap pool to start collecting. There's a gun can't tower. I can past my canopy out here, cook. I'm putting you in charge of the resource collection. I'm going to return to the recycler and start guarding the base. Be careful out here, Lieutenant. Deploying. Building. You're the boss. Building complete. You're the boss. You're the boss. Got your six. Got your six. Deploying. You know what? Let's get all these guys just to follow Deploying. me here. Got your six. You're the boss. 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 I don't think anything comes from destruction anymore, but just having all these guys over here will be a good Deploying. defensive, you know, line. Deploying. Deploying. You're the boss. Deploying. Deploying. You're the boss. I'll make sure nothing can come down that path. Building. Deploying. Deploying. Building complete. Engaging thrusters. Building. On your six. Building complete. Building. Building complete. Okay, let's get my scavenger going, I guess. He's going to go into this bomb mill pool over here. Lead the way. Got it covered. Let's get our scavenger built because we'll need one. Building complete. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good work, Lieutenant. On your six. See how basically, like, you found our scrap pool, little scavenger deploy on that pool. Lead the way. Now, I know at this point, basically, we're going to have to deal with more, like, you know, sentries and stuff. But we're just going to sit there. So this is a sentry. This is basically one of like the like you know light attacking units for like the scions. We don't have a light attacking unit. We have scouts, but you know they have like you know scouts and like these sentries. 
Science Sentry, Hot Force, two guns, one special, one shield. Nothing really too special about it. And by the way, you can pal if you want to. On your six. Get these guys to follow me here. I assume this thing's about to get destroyed, that's why I'm basically jumping into it. So I have like an extra vehicle. Let's get my guys to fight this guy. Yeah, I'm on it. We have iron guns, by the way, which are a little bit different than, like, you know, mini guns. But they, you know, do the same thing. Scratch one. On your six. Follow me. Now here we have, we have more like guardians, which are basically the, you know, the turret type enemies for the enemy. Engaging thrusters. If you that area may be hot. We're picking something up, but I can't get a fix on it. Pick up your visual. So basically, being, you know, we were being told to pull back because these guys can be dangerous. Basically, there's guardians. These are like the cool. turrets. I'm building a factory. You'll be able to use it to make mortar bikes. Yeah, basically she's going to build uh, factories so you can build like advanced, you know, structures or, you know, units to kill these guys called motorbikes. So I get those ready. Follow the leader. Follow the leader. Guard that, please. There's a factory. Building. Motorbike. We're gonna build these three motorbikes, I think. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Well, if I can only build two, it's fine, but preferably I only have three to attack these guys with. Basically, the guys are really, really powerful to fight up close, so... The more bikes are going to help you, like, you know, kill them at range where they can't hurt you. That's the idea. Thought they might be on the way, but I guess we're going to wait for, um, the next bike to get to us, and then we'll send them all after us. Nope, by the way, all these guys are under F4 there. It's actually worth knowing that, interestingly enough, you actually have, like, squads in this game. Where, like, you have, like, a squad of, like, you know, um, three bikes from, like, the same squad type of thing. And it's actually possible to manage your squad, so, like, you know, I can move, like, all these turrets into one squad, for example. Building complete. I'm on my way. On your tail! Let's just actually look into it right now. Input. Uh, interface. Blah, blah, blah. That's not what I want. Command. Alright, well basically if you want to, you can like, you know, bind your, like, you know, um... Your, like, units into like a, 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 a type of like, you know... Grouping, if you want. I'll try and figure out how to do it next time, but for now we'll just like, you know, deal with these guys here. And you know what? Well, we're basically waiting for these guys. Although this is what the sign looks like from the outside here, basically we want to, you know, have you guys basically showing up in third, third person here. Some of you guys basically have it so you always have like, have, have this like third person display, like assault tanks, but you know, more or less of the time you'll be like, you know, in first person like this, with most vehicles. Ah, I'm good, here to come. And by the way, I'll show up as fours on the map, which is interesting. Alright, you guys. Fun. Bomb that thing away. They're just gonna fire motors at this guy. Uh, you, get back. He's dust. Fun. He's dust. Fun. I know that your motorbikes are kind of weak and, like, you know, strength, so they, if they take too many hits, they die pretty quickly, but... 
Whoopsie. It's dust. Fun. Offensive unit lost. Lead the way. It's dust. Fun. Almost lost my guy there. On your six. He's dust. Kill this last one. Fun. Got it covered. Get on that, please. I don't know if I would undeploy these guys as, you know, regular scavengers. Don't say anything special about them. Showing a lot of promise, Lieutenant. He's dust. Cook, I have a special assignment I need you to carry out. Break off from the rest of the forces and follow me. There's a sign troop dying. Alright, so this guy wants me to join up with him, so we're going to do that. On your six. On your tail! These guys are all going to die in a moment, but whatever. Basically, we're going to ju jump up here in Major Manson, and we're going to basically do a little bit of an attack on, you know, the enemy. Intelligence has discovered a key alien structure that we must destroy. So this is the core we're going to destroy right now, I guess. I'll probably be in the next mission, but whatever. We can do it now. Basically, we have to follow along with this guy. I've got an alarm going off because I have a birthday party to attend soon, but whatever. Let's get this done first, shall we? So, nope, basically, we're following these guys up over here. Major Manson is like, you know, two sergeants. I think those are Russians, Russian names behind them, but whatever. Now at this point, we're going to get attacked by gun towers. Or gun spires, rather. These there are, are a lot more of these puppies ahead. Do not engage them. Steer clear and speed past them, but stay with me. This is the defensive unit for the science, by the way. They're like powered by lungs right there. We're going out here to destroy this thing. Satchel charge with you. Now get out of your vehicle and set the charge on that column now. Uh, I forgot how to do it. So basically, you go to inputs and control. One of them should be special weapon. All right, it should be like the um, middle mouse button to deploy my special weapon, or maybe C. There's one thing I, I really don't like, basically, like, don't necessarily tell you what to do, but whatever. Offensive All right, unit clear the area. Lost. In 30 seconds. We'll do that now. Let me see this thing right here, the ISDF dueling rig is about to go and bloom. Okay, let's get everyone out here. Offensive unit lost. Offensive unit lost. Great balls of fire, Cook. Way to go! There's one of our pods basically over here in the sky, but whatever. So that's basically it for mission four. The unidentified structure on a dark planet was destroyed before any comprehensive report could be written about its existence. 
Shrapnel in the area was later collected by independent ISDS scouts for further investigation. With Major Manson occupied with a top secret mission, some of the secondary squads were overrun by Scions. The fighting continues. Until a complete report is finished, you and your squad must not discuss anything that has been seen at the ruins with anyone. Alright, so that basically took us 20 minutes to do. There's the stuff we built and the other stuff we lost. Now, the next mission basically will be Wormhole. Uh, there's going to be a, like a, a video for it, so I'm going to basically try to like, you know, um, start like end the mission, mission here for it, or this video for it. And we'll try and like 